13 people are being recognized by the Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration for making their communities a better place to live. And one of those recipients is Paul Nguyen, the founder of JaneFinch.com. That's a website that gives a positive voice to the people who live in that community. And he's with us this afternoon. Paul, hello. Hi, Robin. And congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. What, what does this mean to you tonight? Well, I think it's a great recognition. Um, it just shows that, you know, the people appreciate the work that we do in Jane Finch, and I'm, I'm really happy about it. Yeah, tell me about your website, jane-finch.com. How does it help those who live in that neighborhood? Well, basically, we all know that the media portrays Jane Finch in a not so great way, usually. Um, and I thought it was about time to, you know, fight back those stereotypes by creating our own media type of outlet. And uh, what JaneFinch.com does is allows the residents to directly say and voice their opinions and concerns to the to the greater society. I mean, uh, as as much as it is sometimes the media portraying that neighborhood in a violent uh, sort of stereotype. I mean, the fact is though that some violence d- has taken place there. Even recently, we've seen some gun violence in Jane Finch. How does your website? Uh, help people address that kind of issue as well? Well, with the website, I mean, uh, it's an un- also an unfiltered voice. So we do acknowledge that there are problems in Jane Finch, but we like to focus on the, the positive things, like the positive events, the, the bright young people, and all the talent they have to offer to the world. But if, if there was an issue going on in the community, this is a, a place people could voice it. If, for example, someone living on a, on a certain street was concerned about violence in their neighborhood, that they, they could also voice those on the website? And that's what the website is for, is for any resident who has something to say. Um, basically, I don't stop them. I, I, I want to hear what they have to, what they have to say, and uh, we welcome all kinds of feedback. So you're getting this recognition tonight. I mean, your website's been up and going for several years, and, and it's been doing very well. Uh, what do you hope the recognition tonight will do for you in, in, in your efforts to, to really make a difference in Jane and Finch? Well, for me, it's not so much about me. But, uh, you know, I see it as, you know, a guy from Jane and Finch who can, who can do things on his own without, you know, all the resources. And basically, it just shows that, you know, an individual can make a difference. And I hope that other people will, you know, hear about this story and it'll in- inspire them to give back to their own communities. And, and, and one guy can make a difference, you think? Uh, well, I, I'd like to think so. Um, and being recognized is just a small way of, of demonstrating that, you know, that people do no- take notice. Do you ever? Is there any ever a sense of frustration for you? I mean, because you, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you no doubt would like to do more, but you can only do so much. Uh, yes, um, you know, I just hope that you know more people, especially in Jane and Finch, will you know take a stand and you know help themselves, help each other, help others, and in that way, you know, I think the community we can make it a better place. So people seeing you do something to, to make the community better and, and to make it a, a better community in which to live, maybe other people will pick up that fight as well. Well, that's what I'm hoping, especially the youth. You know, we're, I'm hoping that they'll you know, be more engaged, whether it's in the community issues or politics, and to take a more active uh, role in their communities. Now, there are you know, various programs in, in place already for, for the Jane and Finch area, also in other neighborhoods around Toronto. But if, if you could, what's the one program that you would still like to see and that, that you would introduce tomorrow if you could? Well, I mean, there's so many different programs and they're all doing their part in, you know, helping the residents. But I, I, would, I would like the citizen, the actual citizen himself, to take a more active role and whether it is to, you know, to mentor a friend or, you know, a young person. And we basically need more residents to be engaged and to act, almost like act like a bigger brother or older sister for, for the youth out there. Why do you think people hold back? Why don't you think people do more of that? Well, I think, you know, there are people, you know, out there helping. Maybe they're just not getting recognition. Um, but that's why, you know, I'm positioning myself and my website to demonstrate that what what's the, the possibilities out there that can happen if, you know, just a few people take an active stance in the community and look at all the possibilities out there. Well, certainly, uh, janefinch.com is a, is a great success story from that neighborhood. Paul, uh, congratulations on the website and on the uh, recognition you're receiving this evening.
Oh, thank you so much, Robin. Appreciate it. Paul Nguyen is the founder and webmaster of janefinch.com. He's among 13 people who will be recognized by the Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration at Queen's Park later this evening. They will receive Ontario Medals for Good Citizenship for their contributions to their communities. So congratulations to him. him. Uh, coming up to the 430 News in a moment. First My answer is Mark is sleeping. Minutes. Mark is sleeping. <laughs> you didn't listen to me? So I was. That was my thing. Yeah, well, it's okay. You said what needs to be said.